If you're currently on a student or dependent visa and you're looking at getting a job as a care assistant or a senior care with the tier 2 visa sponsorship, then this is the right video for you. Or you're outside the United Kingdom and you're looking at moving into the UK on the health and care visa, then you definitely need to watch this video till the end. As I'll be sharing with you some of the care homes and agencies in the UK currently recruiting care assistant with the tier 2 visa sponsorship so if there's something you'd like to see don't go anywhere keep watching till the end and if you're coming across my channel for the very first time please hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and for my channel subscribers you guys are the real mvp thank you for being here i really do appreciate you guys so without further ado let's get right into it's not like news that the UK is currently experiencing massive shortage in the health and care sectors. It means that many of the care homes, care hospitals or service users are currently in need of carers in the UK. And despite the huge number of applications across the world, the number of shortage occupation or the number of um, you know, employees required in the health and care sector keep increasing. Um, as of the last couple of weeks, it was announced that the health and care sector in the UK has over 125,000 um, unfilled vacancy positions. So it means that the UK health and care visa is definitely not going anywhere anytime soon because of this massive number of vacant positions not being filled. That's why I want to share with you some of the care agencies and care homes in the UK that are currently recruiting. So basically all you need to do is to um, go on their website, go, um, check out the emails I'll be sharing with you in this video and send out your CV to them and start pushing out your application. The health and care visa might be an opportunity to help you remain in the UK or move into the UK as the case may be. So the first care home or care agency I'll be sharing with you in this video is Kura Care. Now Kura Care is currently recruiting uh, care assistants and they are in need of a female care assistant so this um, particular vacancy is for um, females and the good thing about it is that it provides um, the job um, the, uh, opportunity comes with the tier 2 visa sponsorship to remain in the UK now some of the benefits of applying to Korea care is that number one you get the company pension um, employee discounts free or subsidized travel referral program location assistance store discount and most importantly uk visa sponsorship which is one of the things that comes a uh, benefit that comes with this particular um, job vacancy now the job description uh, this particular care okay, assistant job is uh, in richmond greater london and obviously it's going to be a two sponsorship and the question is are you an experienced carer if you're passionate about making a difference to someone else's life then this role at Kura Care might be for you. So um, the Kura Care is an independent family run business who supports the elderly and vulnerable in their own home to enable them to live independently. Now, so if you're going to be working um, as a care assistant with Kura Care, um, in my opinion, I think it's more of um, a domiciliary care whereby you need to go to the client's house. So some of the things you'll find yourself doing if you're able to get this job is that you're going to be helping with morning and evening routines. Um, this will include supporting clients with personal care, washing and dressing and all aspects of personal hygiene. You also, you also need to help with preparing meals, supporting with medication, shopping and picking up prescriptions for the clients, escorting clients to various appointments if and when it's needed and providing companionship. So that's some of the things uh, that you'll be doing as a care assistant if you're able to secure a job with Kura Care. And also some of the things they're looking out for in a care assistant is that the person must be a capable and reliable or must have a capable and reliable character, must be a caring, kind and compassionate um, individual with a genuine desire to help older people, must be fluent in English with both both um, good written and spoken communication skills and most importantly they must have a, a uk driver's license now this is not this is not compulsory but it is um, 
uh, preferable. It's not 100% compulsory, but it's preferable. So that's, those are some of the things they look out for if you are looking at applying for this job. And some of the other things they offer their carers um, include paid training, paid shadowing, 28 days holiday per year. They also pay for your mileage if you have your own car. And you get free uniform, smartphone app, long service, um, and employee recognition, and many other benefits so if you're interested in this application just go uh, send your um, cv to recruitment at kuracare.co.uk and start your application all right so the next um, vacancy or the next opportunity um, i'll be sharing with you in this video is with carelife.org.uk now with carelife.org.uk they've got an opportunity for people who are looking at applying for a senior carer role and if you're passionate about caring and interested in working in the UK, now this is mostly for international recruitment. So this uh, for Care Life, um, it's open to those who are outside the UK and need um, the tier two visa to move into the UK. So um, if you're passionate about caring and also interested in working in the UK, they would like to hear from you. They are looking for experienced care staff to join their community team. Now, as a senior care assistant for Care Life Care, you will play a very important role in the lives of their service users, helping them to continue living in the comfort of their homes. Um, the aim is for all carers to work with the same service user every day for better uh, community in care. Now. Um, the role involved working in the service user's home, providing all aspects of personal and domestic care, which include assist in all parts of personal care, shadowing, um, showering and bathing, uh, and um, dressing and grooming, toileting, and many others. So basically, just the usual job role for a care assistant. Now, as a care life carer, you are rewarded with, for providing an outstanding service. You will work in combination of early shifts, late shifts. So the shifts are a bit flexible to you know meet up with um, your your, your life schedule, and they also assist you in, in securing a national insurance number open a UK bank account and GP registration. So this is for people who are just coming into the United Kingdom. They also will provide company accommodation for the first month and assist in finding suitable long-term accommodation. And you also receive a competitive salary plus opportunities to work over time. You will have access to the company uh, vehicle. So now the requirements for this particular job, so if you're outside the UK, you need to have a CV with full employment history since leaving school, minimum experience three months, um, relevant health and care qualification from accredited training providers. I already made a couple of videos on the kind of uh, certification you might want to get if you're looking for a job as a care assistant. Now, you also have a valid passport, valid photo driving license, so you can bring in your international driver's license, and character reference, TB test from a home office approved test center, police clearance, and you must have your IELTS score, a minimum of five points. Um, zero. So if you're interested in working with Care Life, then check out the email, send your CV to admin at carelife.org.uk. Now the next um, care uh, uh, agency I'll be sharing with you is Golden Hope Care. Now this particular um, uh, care agency, they've got opportunities for those who are already residents in the UK and also international applicants. They've got different job vacancies ranging from carers, support workers, registered mental health nurses, health nurses, dental nurses, occupational therapists, um, counselors, domestic staff, kitchen assistants, administrators, home managers, deputy managers, IT maintenance, uh, or personnel, and many others. So you can just check out their website. Now, so if you're applying from within the UK, Basically, the documentation they require from you include your passport, your proof of UK address, your national insurance number, bank details, driver's license, if applicable, depending on the job role you're applying for, additional proof of eligibility um, to work in the UK, certificate of specific skills, work references. So, uh, for the approval of eligibility to work in the UK, that's for people that don't require sponsorship. But if you do require sponsorship, then they'll be willing to provide one. And also some of the things you benefit if you able to work with them is competitive periods, compressive training, flexible work patterns, supportive work environment, and many others. So if you're interested in this particular um, job vacancy, then you want to send your email or your CV to recruitment at Golden Hope. Um, care.com so just push our application to them and hope to hear 
back from them. So these are some of the care agencies currently recruiting the EK with the tier two visa sponsorship. So if you like to, you know, um, enhance this opportunity, they want to send out a CV to the email provided in the video. And also, if you find this video, you also click on the like button. If you have any further questions, please state in the comment section. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, hit the like, hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and for my returning subscribers i love you guys thank you for being here so this will be the end of this video and i will see you guys most definitely in my next video